everyone. Welcome to my 55th ever Let's Play Etrian Odyssey HD. Let's go! Okay, sorry. My energy is very high. I woke up early to record this. So, I played one Etrian Odyssey day back in the day. It, what one Etrian Odyssey came back in the day um, and I loved it and I'm so excited for this collection but first sorry I forgot hello if you're new to the channel welcome feel free to call me dark you can call me Elsie you can call me hey you and if you're a returning viewer or subscriber welcome back I'm so happy to have you all um, I don't think I played this one I'm not sure so I definitely don't remember anything all I remember is it's a dungeon crawler and you get to build your own map as you go, which, you know, as an engineer and a, an aspiring artist, I fucking love that shit. So we're going to jump right in. All right. I woke up early for this. Let's go. Hold on. Options. <laughs> um, I can't tell if it's quiet or not. Let's see. Oh. Uh, what does play BGM mean? That's louder. Do I just do that? It seems louder. Okay, maybe that's better. Okay. Oh, I forgot to do the rest of it. Hold on. <laughs> um, battle message speed. Normal, animation, normal, auto battle, normal, A button, okay, auto battle, yep, yep, auto map, movement, drawing? Alright, we're just gonna leave all this for now because I don't know yet. Picnic. Okay, we ready? I think this sounds better, so we'll see. Let's go. Oh, here we go. Picnic for those who like a walk in the park. Basic for those who enjoy overcoming trials. Expert for those the fearless who love a challenge. We're gonna go basic. A basic bitch. Uh, recommend a difficulty for first time players or RPG enthusiasts. Color me both. Uh, the difficulty can be changed during the game through the options menu while in town. Okay. Starting the game in basic. The yo yo. Let's go. One day, in the small, isolated town of Etria, an underground forest was discovered. The Radha, governors of Etria, issued a proclamation throughout the continent. Any able-bodied adventurer was invited to investigate the forest and explore its depths. But no matter how many came to investigate the dungeon, none gained the renown they sought. As more adventurers tried and failed to conquer it, it came to be known by a new name. The Yggdrasil Labyrinth. I always want to say Yggdrasil as a joke, but I know it's Yggdrasil. Uh, you are the latest adventure to journey to Etria in response to the Radha's proclamation. You have but one goal. Explore the forest to win fame and fortune. Etria is at hand. Oh shit. Would that say Verda Plaza? Hold on. This is so loud in my ear. There we go. Okay. Uh, let's see. 10 a.m. Organize your guild here. We got the Rooster Inn, Seft Apothecary, Shellica's Goods, Golden Deer Pub, Explorer's Guild, I Like the Cats, uh, Radha Hall, Forest Entrance. Is a part of this feels familiar, like Shellica's Goods, but not really. Okay, let's go in. Test your strength. Oh, I haven't seen you before. I take it you've come to check out the Yggdrasil- I can't say it, not normal. Yggdrasil Labyrinth. Then welcome, friend. Not many guilds lately are many new adventurers. Those short-sighted losers care too much about trifles to do any real investigation. If you've got the guts, you should make a guild entirely for newcomers. There are loads of guys just sitting on their thumbs who join any guild that would take them. How about it? Gonna make a guild? Uh, sure. Great, then let's get started. Write what you want to call your guild in this ledger. Someday the world will know this name, so think carefully before choosing it. Okay. Uh... Hold on, maybe I should move my picture? Oh, but I don't want to block the, like, the daytime. 
Maybe like here? We'll see. I, the bottom seems okay for now, but I don't know. Um, We'll go with the dive. We're the dark divers here, for those who don't know. Yeah, okay, I'll put myself back. I think the, this might be the best. I can make it smaller. I just like to have my face for my facial expressions because people say they're funny, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, is this skill name acceptable to the dive? Hell yes. The dive, huh? Not a bad name. Now that you've got a guild, you'll need adventurers to fill it. Of course, you can go into the labyrinth yourself. If you've got the stones, then register your own name as a member. More adventurers means more options open to you and less of a chance of dying down there. <laughs> Think about it for a while. Make sure you register a variety of classes into your guild. Okay. Uh, add a new adventure. Allow a member to leave, retire, or rest. Uh, configure register. Call up a party. Okay. Um... Oh. Okay, maybe... Let me make myself a little smaller. That's, like, too small. That's, like, dumb. <laughs> Up here, maybe? <laughs> we'll make it work. I don't know. I'm so indecisive. Okay, so... We got... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Technically, not all of them, but... We got Landsnecked. Masters of Sword and Axe, Lance Next can bear a wide range of weapons and armor in close combat. Balanced Warriors for the front line. Okay. Uh, we've got stats, strength, tech, vitality, agility, luck, protect defense, knife, tweed. Uh, survivalists, fleet footed and wise in the ways of the forest. Their bow skills make them desirable allies. Fast acting fighters, useful in either line. Okay, so we have a front and a back line, it seems like. Protector. Oh, wait, what? There's. Uh. Okay, so they have more luck. I mean, the HP difference isn't that bad, honestly. Uh, protector. Holy defenders of the weak. A protector's sword and shield are invaluable tools when in the dungeon. Best used as frontline warriors. Yeah, the tank. Okay. Well, they have the most HP and TP and attack and defense. Hot damn. Ah, uh, Dark Hunter. Pinpoint lashes of their whip can- Oh, can weaken opponents. Use their skills wisely to turn the tides of battle. Their skills are best used in the front. Okay. They're balanced. It seems like. Uh, medic, woo! Unskilled in battle, their healing arts allow experienced warriors to survive difficult battles. Use their healing gifts from the back, of course. Wow, they are weak. The alchemist is weaker, though. Uh, those who study the control of nature, the power of fire, ice, and lightning is at their command. Elementalists who prefer the back. I don't care what they prefer, they do what I- no, I'm kidding. Uh, Troubadour? Lively dancers and singers who inspire the party. Their support is always welcome in combat. Supporters able to work on either line. Oh, okay. Got low strength. Okay, and then we can't have the other two yet, so let me put myself back. So... How many can I afford? They gave me like a thousand money. Or N, I think it was called. Skills? Oh god. Okay. Yeah, there's really no good place for me. I guess we'll go up here. For now. Um. Oh, I just picked one. So we got axes. Mastery skill, increased damage dealt with axes, sword mastery. HP up, TP up, attack up, defense up, mining? Oh, mine for materials. Okay. Bows, agility. So we got stat increases and also resource management. Or obtaining, I guess. Oh, and there's different levels. Okay. 
stalker. Um, <laughs> no thank you. Okay, so probably we want a warrior, right? And... Select the portrait? Yeah. I remember her face. This one kind of looks like me. Yeah. DLC. <gasps> oh, I forgot I got DLC because I pre-ordered it. So I got, um... Oh, gosh. Okay, so this is from Soul Hackers 2. And then, obviously, Persona. And there's a couple Shin Megami Tensei ones as well for some of the other different classes. Uh, which is, uh, very exciting. And I will definitely use them. Okay. Let's see. Um, I should just take one, right? I'm really bad at making decisions. Okay, let's go. Let's do the original characters first. I like her. Uh, well, this will be dark. She's our main gal, right? Uh, is this adventure ready to register? Yes. Register another? Oh. Oh, I don't pay money for him? Oh. Okay. Uh... Protector. <laughs> His face. <laughs> um... Well, wow, that guy's nose. Okay, this guy is scary. I kind of like his enthusiasm. Same ones, okay. Oops. Oh, oh my, I just saw boobs. Okay, very cool. Very cool. The one in the bottom right looks like a witch. Dark Hunter, okay. Aw, look at them! The art style in these games? Oh, love it. Okay, I remember that girl in the middle. That's cute. Okay, okay, sorry, I'm focused. Um, I kind of like this kid. What should I name him? Um, George. Georgie. He looks like a Georgie. Georgie's a tank. There we go. Um, let's do an archer. Oops. God, I'm so bad at this. Uh, he's kind of cool. Oh, he kind of reminds me of, um, like, uh, the guy from, uh, what the heck? Lord of the Rings. I don't know their names, man. I don't. Let's go with Homeboy. Uh, let's name him Link. He looks like, he looks like Link. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of Tears of the Kingdom, all right? I don't know how many I can bring in on my first shindig, but we should might we might as well create one of each, right? Uh, Dark Hunter. He looks like someone from Soul Eater. He also looks like someone from Soul Eater. <laughs> kind of crazy. Hold on. There we go. Let me make sure I can see the volume. Um, I like her hair. Yeah, I can't do that one. Uh, no, uh, yeah, it's too much. I kind of like this guy. Um, what will I name him? Fiero. Fiero. Oh, he's got like spike feet. That's exciting. Um, we'll make a medic. Weird. I know there's more characters. He looks like the guy from, um, Persona 5 Royal? I like this guy. 
girl. Whatever they identify as. She looks like she has no soul in those eyes. <laughs> no soul. All right, all right, sorry, I'm focused. Um, Bane? That could be a girl or a guy's name. All right. Uh, I just did this one, right? No. Wait, I do this one? Oh, he looked like an alchemist. Okay, alchemist. Um, oh my god, why? Why is his stare so intense? Oh, he does not care. She's cool. Oh, I do like her though. I kind of like her. Let's go. Um, we'll name her Maisie. Maisie. Yeah. Nice. She's got spunk. Wait, there weren't DLC for this one, right? No. Okay. And then Troubadour. Just an old man walking around with all these children. I kind of like him, though. We need at least one wise sage, right? Alright, let's do him. Um... Arthur. Oops. Yeah, Animal Crossing. Arthritic? <laughs> Let's call him Arthritis. Oh my god. Yes. Oh wait, no. I'm done. Okay, organize. Uh... So, like, can I just have all of them? God, there's, like, no good place for this. Back down here we go. Formation? Yeah, form a party? Oh, okay, so we can have all of them. Oh, they think I'm gonna remember. It doesn't say, does it? It does not. Oh, nice. Okay, um... Okay, oh, thank God. I was like... Please tell me there's a status button. What's this one? Archer. Uh... Oh yeah, he's definitely in the back. I guess we put the archer in the front? Or we put the- oh, wait, who's he? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. They have equal defense. Let's put this guy in the front. And then... Oh, I can only have five? Oh. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Look at those names. I should have named them like Fighter Alchemist. <laughs> okay. That's everything. You ready to get started? I hope you can shake things up in this town and clear out some of the dead wood. I'm looking forward to the day the dive guild. The, 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 okay. That was a bad name. The The Dive Guild becomes known the world over. Thanks, bro. Uh, rest and save. Heal your wounds. Buy and sell goods. Manage quests. Receive missions. No soliciting. Uh, this is Radha Hall, home to Etria's governing body. I assume, newcomers, that you are en route to investigate the forest. However, we don't recognize just anyone who manages to throw together a guild. If you wish to become licensed adventurers, first complete the mission we give you. A new mission is available. Accept missions from the menu to see the details. Okay. Uh, adventurers initiation. New adventurers must be tested by mapping the first floor of the labyrinth. Yes! 
Uh, meet the soldier on B1F for the details. Okay. Yep. Your mission is to create a map of the first floor of the labyrinth as an initiation. Those who cannot accomplish this elementary task are better off staying out to the forest. Explore the first floor and map everything you see there. This method will be useful later. Here is a small map to start you off. Fill in the rest of the details as best you can. Okay. Now go to the forest and get the details from the soldier on the first floor. Alright, I can do that. Okay, okay. Uh, results. Tell the Rada about monsters and items you discover. Oh, okay. We're done. Um. Home of the Long Crow. Uh, welcome to the Rooster Inn. We cater to adventurers who explore the forest. Please, make yourself at home. Okay. Sleep until morning, sleep until evening. They both heal all TP and stuff. Maybe there's time-based things? Save? Oh my god, that's so cute. Okay, um... So this is like a quick heal. Probably costs money. Oh. Welcome to Etria. You sit in the town's apothecary where we heal the wounded and fallen. We also offer medicines to take with you. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. If you're wounded in the forest, so come back here and we'll do everything we can for you. If you die, we'll try... Oh, and revive you. Okay. Axella? Herbal perfume that restores 10 boost points. Imbrita. I know that. Tonic made of pulverized forest herbs restores 15 TP. Medica. Medicine made of boiled herbs recovers 30 HP. Okay. Um, should I, like, buy these? We'll just get 10. I don't know what a boost point is yet. I don't think. Dr. Hoffman. Something for everyone. Hello, need items, weapons, equipment? I'm your girl. I get the guild I heard about with only new folk. Explorers like you are my best customers. I look forward to doing business with you. You can sell items obtained in the labyrinth and buy the goods created from them. Oh, yes! Okay, yeah, so you find resources and then you give them and then... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. When purchasing, your party members are shown and you may switch between characters with the LR button. When buying weapons, you can press the ZL or ZR button to jump between weapon types. Also, depending on the screen you are on, a button prompt will be displayed telling you what to do. Each function is useful, so be sure to make good use of them. Okay. Buy, sell, chat, change. Oh. Maybe I just, like, sh hide my camera when I need to? Uh, so there's a description of each item. Attack, boost, technical. Okay, I'm gonna wait on the weapons, though. Because, um, you always find stuff in the first dungeon. You know what I mean? And I feel like I waste, I waste money. Golden Deer Pub. Etria's finest ales. Welcome. Don't think I've seen your face in here before. You new in town? If you're going down in the labyrinth, you should visit the Radha first. Every adventure has got to go through Radha Hall before they're officially recognized. Sorry, hon, but my hands are tied. I can't give you any work until then. Once you're legit, come and see me again, alright? I'll be looking forward to it. Okay. Valerie. The publican? Is that a term? Is that really a term? I didn't... I didn't know that. Here be dragons. Okay, Yggdrasil. Yggdrasil. <laughs> Geomagnetic field. Go to the selected stratum. I think we're gonna do the labyrinth, right? Oh. First stratum. Oh, it's like fast, fast uh, teleport to each stratum. Emerald Grove. Okay. Oh my god, the first hope-filled step. This is crazy. 
Okay, what does this say under my name? Uh, main, full, undo. Okay, here. There we go. Sorry, the first episode is always figuring out all the technicalities, right? How do I... Oh. Oh, God. ZR? Oh, God. What is this? Hold on. ZL? What? How do I know where I'm going to draw? Um. Oh, okay, I see. Okay, well, uh. Oh, yeah, and you turn. So, this is like the basics of it, right? So, you're going through this dungeon, and there'll be stuff to like interact with. Monsters chase you, uh, which is great for my health. Oh, the Interstellar Labyrinth. One task must be performed before challenging its depths. As you have some skill at adventuring, some three skill points should be available to you. To spend them on skills useful in the Labyrinth, open the main menu with the Y button. Select Custom to alloc allocate skill points, but think carefully before doing so. You may already be aware of this, in which case this advice is happily unnecessary. <laughs> If so, then hesitate no longer to begin your adventure in this lush green forest. Oh. In the skills menu, you can use the skills that are available outside of combat. Oh, I don't have any. What the heck? Anyone got any? Status? Status member, you can see a party member's status, equipment, and skills. Huh. Items? In the items menu, you can use or throw away items in your inventory. Just Medica. Ah, <laughs> uh, the map. Wait, didn't it say I had skills? Am I... I'm not missing something, am I? No, what the- In the equip menu, you can adjust the party member's equipment. Yep, some classes require particular weapons to use some of their skills. Be mindful of this. Okay. In the custom menu, you can spend new skill points. Oh, there we go, to learn new skills. Did they say that? I'm sorry. Uh, in this game, for each level you gain, you earn only one skill point. Use them wisely either to strengthen existing skills or to learn new ones. Sorry, I thought the skill points would be under the skills menu. That's just me, though. Uh, let's see. Axes. What am I using? I'm using a sword, right? HP up, TP up, attack up. Oh, I'm, I'm always down for attack up, I'll be honest. How many do I have? Three? Three per person or three in total? Oh, per person. Okay, sick. We'll do attack up. Increase attack power at the expense of defense. Uh, I don't know if I like that. Hell cry. Lower defense and max HP in return for greatly strengthened attacks. Arm heal. <laughs> heal my arms. Let's do defense up. Regain the use of bound arms. So that's like if I'm wrapped? Or, like, trapped? What's with the frowning face? Do you see that? Like, what? what is that? That little blue face? Maybe that's, like, a status symbol? Okay. Um... Mine for materials. Do... Maybe HP up? This is weird. So TP up you can learn these, I guess, from level 3. But then level 7 you could get them from Sword Mastery. Very, very interesting. Flea. Uh, let's see. So our shield guy... Shield Mastery seems like a good choice. Oh god. 
Front guard, shield skill. Skill that may take damage in the front line's place. Uh, take damage in the back line's place. Okay, so tanking, as we do. Uh, we'll do defense up. Provoke. Uh, special skill. Divert the enemy's attention to you at high levels. Also increases defense. Okay. Uh, we'll do HP up. Gotta keep the tank alive. Oh, healing skill. Ooh, uh, I like that. Okay. Uh, Fiero. Gather plants. Hide in the shadows. We'll do attack up. Uh, HP up. Why? Some of these names. <laughs> um, I'm not sure what weapons I want them to use yet, so... We'll do TP. I thought that was the only one he had. I was like, are you kidding me? Cure. Okay, good. Healing a small amount of HP. Thank God. What's this one? Heals... Slightly heals the party after battle. <gasps> Does not consume TP. Okay. Okay. I'm here for it. Um... Cut down Flora. Okay. We'll do... Increased chances of the enemy dropping an item. Ooh. We'll do TP up, right? Because I'll probably need it for healing. Okay. Maisies are alchemist. Fire up, ice up, volt up, toxins. She's probably going to need TP up. Maybe we do fire. We're in a forest. Probably going to be burning some enemies. We can do fire and ice. Conjure forth ice to attack the enemy. Conjure forth fire. Okay. Alright, good. Great. I'll put myself back. Oh, wait, what's book? In the book menu, you can view any accepted or completed quests and missions. Okay. I have none. Okay, feels good. Okay, yeah, adventures initiative, party. In the party menu, you can configure your party formation. Uh, in battle, if the entire front line dies, it will be replaced by the back line. Should the back line replace the fallen front line, remember to reform the party afterward. Oh, God. Okay, now we're gonna leave it as is. Okay, we looked at all these. Let's go. I don't see any enemies yet. I'm, like, nervous. Got a lot of trauma in this game. There's no need to explore virgin territory yet. First, seek the soldier waiting in the known areas of the forest. Okay, I I wasn't trying to go that way. I was just walking. A hostile what? Okay, am I blocking anything? Okay, this might be the best spot then. Uh, let's see. Info. Oh. There's an auto button. Attack? Oh, I pick what everyone's doing. Alright, well, let's gang up on this one guy, right? Nine. Tree rats? Kill it, kill it. Nice. We got a soft tide. We discovered a new monster, tree rats. New item, soft hide. Okay. So it said we auto heal after battle, because I got that ability, so. Oh, as you walk the narrow path, greenery all around, you see a soldier standing guard. You must be the new guys. The Radha told me you'd be along. Welcome to the forest. A few questions for the soldiers sprung to mind, but you wonder if you should let him be. Ask about the labyrinth? The soldier looks around him once before answering. We call this the Yggdrasil Labyrinth. It's a pretty strange place. The ecology here is completely different than the one in the world above where we live. It goes down so deep that no one has ever seen the lowest stratum. If you plan on exploring down there, then make sure your guard is up at all times. 
His speech delivered, the soldier loses interest in you and returns to his post. You hesitate, unsure whether to ask him another question or let the matter drop. Um, I'll even be. You decide to leave the soldier alone. I'll be like, what are you doing here? And he's like, what do you mean, what am I doing here? Oh. Oh, just kidding. I thought I could go that way. My bad, my bad. Uh... There's no need. What do you mean? What, what, what do you mean? I talked to him. What are you doing here? Soldier answers your question slowly. My orders are to make sure no one, you for example, gets in the forest without permission. If you want in, start the way everyone does. Make a map of the floor we're on. As I'm sure they told you back at the Radha, everyone goes through this initiation. With that, the soldier points to the map of the forest you hold in your hands. Review the map drawing controls, please. In this game, you can draw maps of your surroundings using... <coughs> Excuse me. Using the controller by touching the screen. I'm dying. Okay, the full map, the top map shows the entire floor, the portion outlined in green is shown on the zoomed map. Zoomed map, the bottom map shows a zoomed in view of the map, the player can draw walls and place icons to customize their own map. Uh, draw on the touch screen, use your finger or a capacitive touch pen, oh that's fun, to draw your own maps. With a controller, a controller can also be used to draw maps, you can use Touch and controller controls in combination to draw maps. Uh, controller. Tutorial. There are various tools at your disposal to help you flesh out your map. Uh, moving the cursor, move the right stick to navigate the tool menu displayed on the right side of the full map. Selecting tools, press the L or the R button to select the tool you want to use. Uh, the selected tool will be displayed on the zoomed map. Press the B button to go back and select a different tool. Draw walls, erase walls, draw floors, erase floors. Holding the, or move the right stick while holding the ZL or ZR button to use the tool. Okay, I was pressing A and nothing was happening. And I was like, okay. So hold them. Plus the right stick? Oh God. In addition to tools, you can use icons to annotate your map in further detail. Uh, opening and closing the icon menu. The icon menu can also be opened by highlighting the open close button and pressing the ZL, ZR button. Uh, press them again to close the icon menu. The plus button on a controller can also be used. Okay. Uh, after selecting an icon, you can use the right stick, ZL, ZR to place it where desired on the map. Place memo icons to leave yourself a message. It can mark points of interest. Uh, crane. Use the crane tool to move icons previously placed. Sorry, my fiance is leaving for work. Uh, on the zoom map, touch screen controls can also be used. Yep. Enlarging the map, press the zoom in and zoom out buttons to change the display size of the zoomed map. Adjusting the zoom can make it easier to draw details on the map. Oh my god, there's so many controls. Advanced map drawing settings. Oh, okay, we can use the main menu, select options, and navigate to field to adjust the auto mapping level, tool, and icon display position, other detailed settings. Similarly, you can adjust game controls in the control section of the options menu. Hmm. No. This area inside the red border shows where you got the map. Finish that part and see me. Okay. Oh, okay. Making my way downtown, walking fast. There's nothing here. All right, let's try and draw. So, ZR. Oh shit. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> okay, this is very uh, interesting. So it's. Wait, how do I? Oh, I get it. Okay. Sorry, this is very counterintuitive. Like, using the right stick is, like, not... Not normal. There we go. Alright. That looks good. 
Oh, okay, so the the thing in the bottom right is showing you if an enemy is coming soon. I don't know why it's off screen like that. That's how it is. I'm not cutting it off, I promise. That's weird. Hello, did I break the game? The answer is yes, I did. It froze, we're good. Um, Georgie's still kind of missing some HP, but that's okay. Didn't I get him a healing skill? Can I not use skills? Do I have to equip skills? Did I not unlock them? Bro. Oh. Is auto just everyone attacks? Oh, it is. Okay, so like with my other games, I'll cut out battles. Um, maybe not this first episode, but next episode if y'all want, let me know. Um, if it's a repeat enemy, uh, nothing happens, you know. Obviously, if something happens, I'll show it. I don't remember if it tells you if there's something on either side of you, or you just kind of have to check. Oh, a new monster. What is that? A wood fly. A tree rat and a wood fly. Uh, maybe I need another point to learn the attack? What, he ran away. Fight me like a true rat. You've got it, Maisie. Were. It had no effect. What does that mean? Woo! Okay, so experience is to beat up between us, it looks like. Because I was like, we are not getting 18 experience every fight. New monster would fly. Item is bug wing. Small fang. Okay. A lot going on. Wait, am I still in the area? He wanted me to... I'm not. I'm not. Hold on. There we go. I don't like how it blocks like the whole last map. Like I can barely see on my screen with this thing. Oh. A hostile pack of wood flies. We'll just... Yes, attack. Why does it say I already used TP? What have I used TP on? Ooh, a crit. Okay, let me go see. Ooh. Uh, we got a bug wing. Uh, hold on. So, like... Oh, I have to learn the skill. Like, that didn't learn the skill. Oh, okay. Well, uh, sad face. Well, after we level up, we should be able to, right? Well, they're about to level up. Maybe I shouldn't... We'll wait, we'll wait, we'll wait. If someone dies, it'll be fine, right? Okay, I kind of want to keep that closed when I can because it's hella blocking off. Okay, but I actually do need to draw. Hold on. Uh, ZR. Let's see. Up, 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 up. Okay. Uh, we didn't go up yet because I'm not supposed to. Down! There we go. Uh, let's see. Okay, that's good. Oh wait, did I do that wrong? There is another- there's another path, isn't there? Hold on. I'm dumb. Yeah. 
I just drew a wall where there wasn't one. That's what happens when you get too excited about drawing walls, kids. It's it's not good for your health. Oh shit, not that, not that, not that. Hold on. Uh this one. There we go. Alright, we're good. I don't want to miss anything. Usually you can see if there's something on the side though, I think. Oh, dang it. Small fang and soft hide. Okay, so wait, this is where I was. Oh, oh, what is that? A mole. Okay, he's scary. Ow. Nice. We love a miss. The music's fun. Hopefully the sound's okay. Obliterate him. <gasps> yes. You discovered a new monster, a new item. Uh custom. Oh, we get so one per level, that's right. Okay, so what do I want to do for me? Maybe attack up? TP up. Or sword mastery. Maybe we should try to learn some skills because I don't have any. Let's do sword mastery. Okay, Georgie. Uh, fortify. Digs in for ironclad defense against physical damage. Okay, provoke. Should probably learn that. So if I need to take damage for someone, I can. Fiero. Fiero. We'll do... Boost up. Increases the improvement gain when boosted. Like, experience boosts? I don't know what that is yet still. Cloak. I kind of want to get that. So let's do TP up. Uh, the healer, let's get cure. Uh, fire. And there we go. Alright. Uh, probably should heal at some point, but for now we're okay. Oop. Are we though? Oh, I missed myself. Hold on. I'm back. Uh, let's see. Here, how much? Small amount? Fire! Let's go! Ooh, 15. Ow. I want to see the fire. I want to see the fire. Dang. Ow. Oh my god! Uh... Cure me, please. The enemy has fallen. All right, insect eye, nice. Can I use skills outside of battle? Yeah. There we go, nice. Oh. Mysterious crystal entwined with ivy blocks your path. It seems you cannot proceed. Oh. Uh, where's the, uh... Wait, no. Oh, ZL. Oh, wait, hold on. God, it is not intuitive. It's gonna take some getting used to, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I don't know what I would put this, a closed door, I guess? Oops, okay, I keep pressing the, there we go. 
Uh, ooh, this is this this menu is is gonna be hell in a handbasket. Um, okay, so let's see. I should draw. Do 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 do. Uh, let's see. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I can also speed through me drawing if you guys want, or if you want to watch me uh, do my best. <laughs> it's pretty quick though. Um, it's all up to what you all want to see. Just let me know. I will not be offended either way. Okay. So there's that so far. I drew a wall that was incorrect. What else is new? Hello everyone. Tree rat. Tree rat. Tree rat. Fire. He rat. He ran away. Bro, I need the experience. What a waste. What a waste. They don't want me to level up, apparently. Oh, who is this? No one in your party is skilled in chopping vegetation. Shit! Uh, hold on. So we go like this, we do ZL, we do... Is this like a vegetation? I don't know what that is. In chopping vegetation, we'll do this one. Yeah. Ooh. I wonder what he's weak to. Ow. What a jerk. Get him, Bane. Oh, I forgot Bane's a healer. <laughs> Bane's not gonna do much damage. Burn it, Maisie. Very nice. There we go. All right. You got nothing else. All right. I could also just do the map drawing at the end of an episode if I needed to, like after it's over. Hey, very nice. Nothing. Loki getting lost a little bit. Uh Okay, okay. Yeah, the the battles are definitely a little slow, so I can take them out. Just let me know. Um unless something new happens, like I said, I'll I'll definitely show that. Or something funny. Usually it involves me getting my shit wrecked in some capacity, but... Oh, I was like, where am I? Oh, it's 4 p.m. Oh, is this a game where bad things happen at night? I don't remember. Hey, we got that experience, a beast bone. All right, let me see. We'll do custom, hide myself. Um, what's cleaver? A rushing sword slash. We'll do it. Georgie. Hmm, it would be nice to have another healer. But also fortify, so let's do fortify. Uh, Dark Hunter. Yeah, Firo needs to hide, so we'll do that. Uh, we'll do patch up, for sure. What's the, um, I'm curious, slightly heals after battle. Heal rate increases, okay. Oh, sick. All right, yeah, that's cool. I'm down for that, oops, hold on. 
Uh, fire. Damage up. TP also increases. Okay. Um, she have a... Ah, level 10. We'll do TP up. Okay. Let's see. Bane. Heal the boy. Okay. Um... As you walk, you reach a clearing filled with blooming flowers. The nameless flowers sway in the wind and you catch the scent of their fragrance. You contemplate whether to rest and enjoy their sweet smell or leave immediately. You decide to relax in the fragrant clearing. However, you aren't the only creature in the forest lured by the sweet floral scent before you can react and pack the wood flies swarm around you. No, wood flies, nay, these are the extremely poisonous breed known as venom flies. Knowing that escape is futile, you brandish your weapons and prepare for battle. This is what I get. We got lucky there, man. I don't know. Bro! Stop! Why are they so fast? Only 16? How much health do these things have? Uh, let me provoke. Oh, I can see how much health they have. I'm out of TP. All right, feels good. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. Fiero, I swear to god. Am I gonna die? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Woo! Um. Oh, thank God. Oh my God, bro. We need to, we need to leave. A new monster? Yeah, great. No one in your party is skilled in chopping vegetation? God damn it. Um. Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I'm learning. God damn it. Did it work? <laughs> okay, how much did it heal me? I'm just curious, not much? Okay, so the poison goes away after battle. Thank God. Uh. I guess I don't have to walk in every space. It's just like a bad habit I have. All right, I don't care. Ow. You think I'm scared of you, singular mole man? Hold on, I'm lost. There we go. Okay, so that's a dead end. All right, we're walking, we're walking. That end? Oh, damn it. That's why I need to draw the map as I go. Oh, the mole men are scary. Okay, hold on. Um. Bro, I like need to go back to the village to heal, I swear to god. Oh, my eyeballs. 
All right, we're making a mad dash for the village because I'm pretty sure bad stuff happens at night. All right, mad dash, mad dash, mad dash, please. Let me out, let me out, let me out. Okay. Ooh. Rest and save. Sleep until morning. Yes, please. Uh, we will save. Okay, I think that's a good place to call it, y'all, for the first episode. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're excited for the series. Um, let me know how you feel about the battles being cut out. I probably cut out some of them there. Um, and the map drawing and everything. Uh, feedback is appreciated. And I'm so excited to play this with you guys. So, um, yeah. As always, feel free to leave a like, comment, favorite, or subscribe. Whatever you guys are feeling. And until the next time, lights off, dark out.